You're watching the Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. Today's topic, extreme smile makeovers. According to my first guest, he says, you're, you know, your teeth are never too bad to have the smile you've always wanted. With us, we have an expert on the topic. He calls it full mouth reconstruction, Dr. Mark Hanna. Dr. Hanna, welcome to the program. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. Now, you brought a lot of photos, so we'll get to those. Okay. Now, for people that don't know your practice, like who's your typical patient? Because you do a lot of things there, I guess. Yeah, we do do a lot of things. Uh, Technically, we don't have a typical patient, but you know, if you were going to title us, we'd be considered like a family practice or a general dental office. But we really are much more than that. We're like a, a office that does all types of specialties under one roof without bringing in a whole bunch of specialists. We do uh, a lot of implants, uh, single. So you're implants. big on dental implants. We do a lot of implants. Yeah, okay. we have single, multiple, full mouth uh, restorations. So uh, we we have our own CT machine uh, in the office, which is a 3D X-ray machine that helps us to see uh, vital structures like nerves and sinuses and how much bone the patient has. So we can put the implants exactly where we want them to go, so they look very natural. And then we also have patients who have a lot of uh, ill-fitting dentures or loose dentures that are, you know, tired of the dentures moving around. So, you know, we can put multiple implants in and snap those dentures in and keep them, you know, solidly in place. And they can get rid of their glue and, and okay. they're not embarrassed anymore. They're not afraid, you know, their, their, their teeth are going to fall out in front of their friends or their grandchildren. Uh, and we do a lot of that. And then okay. there's some patients who want a whole new smile just fixed on dental implants. And, okay. and we do that as well in our office. Um, procedure called hybrid with you know just five or six implants uh, in an arch and, and we get them a whole new smile that doesn't come out it's very natural it looks like they're natural teeth and uh, patients go back to eating their you know favorite food steak apples salads ribs is that right yeah you know and um, we also uh, we are considered a sleep center uh, okay we do a lot of uh, sleep medicine and so patients who have to wear a CPAP machine, which is, you know, I don't know if you, you know what yeah, it's like, I, but I've it's a about it. big, ugly contraption, makes you look like Hannibal Lecter, and yeah, uh, a lot yeah. of patients hate it. So we can just, with, just with a small dental appliance, we can get, have them get rid of that CPAP machine. And then, the, you know, the best thing, you, you know, in our office is that whether you need a little dentistry or a lot of dentistry, uh, we can do it under the comfort of you being asleep while we do the dentistry. We do uh, sed sedation dentistry, oral conscious sedation, okay. and patients come in, and as little as one or two visits, uh, we get them back into full, you know, oral health and, and their smile back and, and functioning again and back to, uh, you know, their life, you know, without... So it's safe? Oral sedation is oral, safe? Oral sedation is the safest type of sedation out there. I mean, we're just using pills. There's no needles. There's no IV sedation, okay? And just a couple of pills, you're asleep like you're asleep in your bed at home, but just a little bit deeper. You're monitored the whole time, and so it's very, very safe. And we can get hours and uh, years of dentistry done, lost dentistry done in a few hours, okay? Is that right? Just um, with some pills. And, and they have like a vague memory? Is that true? They, they remember when they first came in the office, all right, but once they go to sleep, they don't remember the needles, the drillings, implants, root canals, nothing. They wake up and everything's done for them. And the best thing is the next day um, they feel great, okay, the, because the sedation, they're greatly relaxed the, the whole time they're, you know, sleeping. So the nerves are not on edge. They're not, you know, worried. They're not fearful. Okay, so we do full, you know, a lot of surgical cases and those patients go back to work the next day just on town hall in Advil. So, so the photos that you brought, and these are like, I call we we call them extreme smile makeovers at the top. These are people with really broken down mouths. Yes. Would you say that all of them took advantage of the pill, a sedation, yes. Yes. sedation pill? Yes. When we're doing bigger surgical cases, uh, you definitely want to be sedated, okay? Because it it's amazing how much the sedation actually helps with uh, post-op pain and discomfort. Okay? Oh, really? Okay. When you are sedated. Like I said, we do, we extract full arches of teeth, we bone graft, we put in six implants at the same time or five implants, okay? That patient goes back to work the next day or their daily routine, okay, uh, just on Tylenol and Advil. Okay. So it's, it's amazing. It's always, you know, it's been amazing to me how effective it is uh, just with a, with, with a few pills that you can get somebody to do this much work and feel great the next day. So we've invited you on the program today to talk about what you call full mouth reconstruction. So for a right. working definition today, what does that mean? Uh, Full mouth reconstruction. That's an excellent question. A full mouth reconstruction can mean a, a lot of things, okay? okay? It can mean somebody with, you know, several uh, broken down or missing teeth, okay? Um, that can be restored just with, you know, regular or uh, cosmetic restorations, crowns, veneers, etc. cetera, okay? Uh, it could be a patient with several missing teeth that need uh, implants to replace those teeth and, and get them back the smile that, that they wanted. 
There's other cases where, you know, the teeth are so broken down and they're a hopeless case, okay, and they're not going to last the patient, you know, another few years. And so now we're talking about uh, taking out the teeth and um, replacing those teeth with dental implants, which act like the roots of your teeth and preserve the bone, and then getting them a whole new smile on those teeth. Okay. okay? So it's, it's very natural. It's just like your natural teeth. You can eat, you know, whatever you want to eat again, uh, steak, salads, etc. cetera. Uh, and, and so there's different tiers of, of full mouth reconstruction. But you say you like to save teeth, though, too. Of course. I mean, we're in the field of oral health. Our goal is to save teeth whenever possible. So we try to save as many teeth as we can, okay? And um, not everybody has to lose their teeth, uh, you know. Um, we, we try to save their teeth with root canals, crowns, et cetera, if we can. Um, but then there are certain cases where the teeth are hopeless, and, and they're going to get a long-term better result with a dental implant okay. or, you know, a, a full prosthesis on dental implants. Uh, but whenever we can... We'll save that. We'll so save if you're only teeth. missing one tooth, why get a dental implant over a traditional bridge? That's a great question. So a traditional bridge is something that's been around for decades, okay? And before implants came around, if you wanted something fixed in your mouth, the, your only option was a bridge, okay? okay. Um, but a bridge, you know, has many downfalls. Number one, usually you got to prep two healthy teeth next to it, okay, just to get that missing like tooth shave back. shave them down a Shave bit. them down, okay. okay, completely all around, okay? So now you're destroying two healthy teeth to get one tooth back. That doesn't seem too fair, okay? Fair. The second problem is that, you know, with the bridge, the bone underneath that missing tooth, okay, uh, is still deteriorating over time because an implant is the only thing that's going to preserve that bone. All right. Okay. So when you have a bridge over time, you're going to develop a little gap, you know, between the gum tissue and, and that missing tooth. And that's usually a big food trap. So over time, usually one or two of the teeth that are holding up the bridge gets decayed under there because it's very difficult to clean. All right. Okay. So even if one tooth gets decayed, that whole bridge has to come off. So you lose, you lose the whole bridge. You might have to replace it or you have, now you have to make a longer bridge. Okay. Um, so you know, there's, those are the downfalls of having a bridge over something fixed, like an implant where the implant preserves the bone in the area. You don't have to touch the teeth around it, okay? It's very natural. It's never gonna decay on you, all right? It's all parts, and, um, and you get to keep it probably for the, the rest of your life. The average lifespan of a bridge is only about 10 to 12 years. Is that right? But the average lifespan of a, an implant, if you look up online, is about 30 years. Really, it can last you the rest of your life, okay? But nobody's willing to, you know, kind of put lifetime guarantee on it, but really... Well, why does everybody do it? I mean, if, it, it, logically, it makes sense. I mean, if you're missing one tooth, just get an implant, get your tooth back, right? Right. Is it just because they hear surgery and they panic? That's... that's is is that, that what it is? That's one aspect, okay? People, or is it cost? I mean, what cost? There, there's several reasons why, you know, people don't do implants, okay? Uh, number one, they think uh, it's a painful procedure, okay? It does seem painful. And, and it's not painful. I mean, uh, you know, if, if the bone is there, uh, even if the, not, the bone is not there and we have to grow bone back, which we do predictably on, on a daily basis, all right? But if the bone is there, it takes about 10 minutes to put in that implant. It's, it's faster for me to do an implant than to get you a new crown on a tooth. So, you know, pain is, you know, there is a little discomfort, Yeah. okay? But it's not something major or, or, or relevant or that, you know, we re really worry about in our practice. Because also, a lot of times we're doing these surgical procedures, even if it's a single tooth implant, under sedation. And so, like I, you know, like I told you to mentioned before, these patients really have no pain the next day. Tylenol and Advil will take care of it. So it's, uh, it's not a big uh, okay. holding back factor. Other patients think that, you know, they start looking at their, their mouth and they start counting all the missing teeth and they th start to think that, oh, I need an implant for every missing tooth. Okay, and the, the, they start, you know, calculating the cost yeah, in their yeah, head yeah, and they yeah. think that this is going to be overwhelming. There's no way I can, you know, afford all these implants, which is, which is not so the case. So especially if you're missing one tooth, get an implant. Get Do you think implant. it'll stop the snowball of further Absolutely. losing more teeth? Absolutely. Okay. Because if you have to replace that bridge, you know, one time in your lifetime, which in, like I told you, the average bridge is about 10 to 12 years. If you have to replace it just one time, you've already paid, you know, twice the amount of just getting an implant. So it's less, for it, sure. It's, in the long run, you're, you're going to save money. Okay. You're going to save money, you're going to save your, your, the healthier teeth, uh, and it looks more natural. Okay. Now, on the full mouth reconstruction crowd, these people with broken down mouths, and we were talking a little bit about it in the green room, that people with bad teeth are prejudged or discriminated against as far as maybe they look poor. Elaborate on that. You know, people with bad teeth... Your smile and, and, and your mouth 
you know, it's right there in front in front of you. You know, okay. it's, it's the first thing that somebody sees when they, when, when they approach somebody else. So these patients with, you know, bad teeth or bad smile, bad breath, et cetera, it really kind of like holds them back in life. Or right? they, they don't smile as much, uh, you know, uh, they don't laugh a lot. They, they get, they're reserved. They, they tell you this? They tell me this. They figure out how to do things or position, you know, their mouth or their lips in certain ways or their hands, you know, they start to cover their mouth when they're talking because they're embarrassed. You know, I had... Um, a gentleman uh, who was really a, a bigwig in, in, in a company uh, near my office. He was like the CFO of this company. And when he came in, uh, his mouth was really broken down. And uh, he was thinking about it for two years. I mean, this guy is on a podium almost every day. And he's talking to his staff. He never smiles, okay? When he came in, he was, you know, overweight. He was kind of like uh, depressed looking because he didn't smile. He looked, you know, angry most of the time. He told me, you know, my, my team thinks I'm angry because I never smile. And he was obsessed with it. Like, he, okay. like every time he got on the podium, he wouldn't, you know, smile. He thought about it while he's giving his talks. So then we, he came in. Uh, we redid his smile. And right before my eyes, this, this man's life transformed. I mean, he lost like 40, 50 pounds. He started dressing sharp. Before he Is looked, that right? yeah. Before you know, he looked sloppy. He started, you know, wearing nice suits. He was smiling. You could see his smile from the parking <laughs> lot. I mean, okay. he was so happy about life. It literally transformed this man's life, and he was much more charismatic. He was much more outgoing, uh, you know. And, and is that typical? Like, like, like you, you fix their teeth, something that bothers them, and now they're changed. Absolutely. Really. Absolutely. Because you know, smile is, is extremely important. Well, you're a dentist. It does not surprise me to hear you say that, right? The smile is the most important thing, probably, in your opinion. It is definitely mo the most important thing, and, and not just because I'm a dentist, okay? If you look at most uh, surveys in, in health and beauty magazines, all okay. right, uh, one of the mo top three most attractive personalities or qualities about uh, somebody else is their smile. That's true. All yeah. right? As if not number one, okay? That's the, like I said before, it's the first thing that somebody sees when, when you know, you get approached. All right. Uh, you know, it affects our daily lives in so many aspects. You know, if you go for a job interview, there's two candidates, okay, both equal uh, qualities for the position, okay? I guarantee you the one who's smiling more is gonna get that, that position, okay? Even if somebody has less qualities or less, uh, you know, uh, qualifications for the job position, if they're smiling more, I bet you that employer is gonna pick that person because it shows charisma, it shows enthusiasm. That's a good point. That person is more trainable than the person who's not smiling, okay? Smile, you know, ignites romance, okay? I mean, yeah, when's the last yeah. time you, you know, somebody wants to get intimate with somebody who is frowning in their teeth, you know, they, they had <laughs> bad breath. I mean, that just doesn't happen, okay? I mean, um, you know, so it affects, you know, everything we do. It, it, it builds uh, charisma, it, get, it builds self-confidence, okay? Uh, so it affects all aspects of our life. So, I mean, to give you an example of that, we had a, a young girl, all right, uh, who, unfortunately, in her 20s, her teeth were really starting to break down, okay? She had decay everywhere, and, and she was miserable. She was in a lot of pain, um, and, and she never smiled, and she was unhappy. I mean, it's a young, pretty girl that doesn't smile anymore. Okay. And um, we transformed her. We got her a brand new smile. And when we handed her that mirror for the first time, she just started crying. She couldn't, she was so emotional that, you know, it was, you know, the first day for the rest of her life. You know, it was a, a big it, deal. It was a huge Good. deal, you know, and, and that is extremely rewarding for us. When we can do that for somebody and, and we know that this person, you know, their life is going to be transformed from this point on, that's just awesome. Nice. Can you be too far gone? Like, like if somebody has advanced gum disease or bleeding gums, bad, I mean, can you be too far gone to do it? No. Really never. So you've never met anybody that's just too far gone? No, really never. I mean, to give them a beautiful smile again. You could, there's always some type of hope for somebody. Okay. okay. Whether it's, you know, on their own natural teeth, you know, crowns, veneers, etc., or with dental implants in a, in a full fixed restoration, there's always something that can be done for a patient to, okay. to make them better. Now, in your office, because you, you have, you, I mean, you're big on technology. Yes. This, what, cuts down on downtime, makes everything faster? By now, having everything right there, obviously. Everything, okay. So, you know, in our office, we don't have to shuffle you around to all different specialty offices, okay. Get the, your root canal done over here, get your implant done over here, et cetera. We do all that under one roof, okay, and, and I do all that myself. Okay. Uh, so, you know, we can keep our costs a little bit uh, lower, all right, and um, 
it just makes everything faster, okay? If we need, a, you know, a 3D x-ray, I don't have to send you to a different place just to get that 3D x-ray and wait for it. We, we do it in the office the same day. A lot of times we'll do, a, you know, a free consult for implants and check out, you know, how much bone they have right on the spot. In nine seconds, I can take a whole 3D x-ray uh, with our CAT, uh, CAT scan machine and let you know, you know, if you need bone, if you don't need bone. Um, and we grow bone predictably every day. Is that right? And so this is not an excuse. You know, people self-diagnose or say, oh, I don't have enough bone, or, you know, the other doctor told me I don't have enough bone for dental implants. And, and you know, maybe in that practice or that with that doctor's training or skills, maybe they don't have enough bone to, to do something. But in our office, we can always grow that bone back. Do other dentists ever refer you people? Yes, all yeah, the time, all the time. For the complex stuff? Yes. For the big cases? So you brought some photos. What are we looking at? Yeah, so this, uh, this patient right here, okay, lovely young 80-year-old patient, All right. okay? And we treat a lot of patients in their 80s or 80 plus. And she came in and um, she had a special medical uh, condition called dystonia, okay? Dystonia is like uh, Parkinson's uh, where you can't control your shaking and everything like that, okay? okay? So we couldn't even take an x-ray on her um, without her moving uh, to take the x-ray to get a clear shot of, of the teeth. And uh, she was afraid of you know, losing all her teeth. She, she knew she couldn't tolerate a dentist, uh, a denture for the rest of her life, okay? Uh, with all that shaking, there's no way you'd be able to keep that denture in. So we gave her a whole new set of uh, teeth, a whole new smile, and she wanted to look, you know, young and, and healthy and, and smile and without dentures or, you know, for her grandchildren, she wanted to be in her, their photos and be part of their life without worrying about having something fall out of her mouth, et cetera. So we gave her a whole new smile and- um, Nice. We got it in for her. She wanted it before her 82nd birthday, and we got it done for her, and she's just a lovely, happy, energetic patient. Is this one of those things where they wish they would have done it, like, years ago? Yeah. You know, the, a lot of these patients, you know, after they get it done and get, uh, you know, a whole new smile, they, they wish they, they'd done it years earlier, okay? Um, you know, here's another uh, patient, same scenario. Uh, came in, older patient, uh, in his 70s, and... Um, you know, we Is got that a, gold. He's got that's gold, gold on, the, on the front teeth. But that's because the porcelain on his bridge chipped off and that's the gold underneath the porcelain. Oh, OK. And that's what he's been smiling with uh, for years. I mean, what, he really he wasn't smiling until, you know, we fixed him up and gave him a whole new smile. And uh, and, and we got him back to, to smiling again. Wow. Totally different. So when a guy like that sees the mirror for the first time, I mean, he uh, does he get choked up. Yes, he does. He does. We actually have a video of him on our, on our website the oh, first time right? he looks at the, his new smile. He's a great guy, great patient. We love him dearly. And, um, and he's just so much happier, so much happier and really just uh, life transforming. Here's another, another gentleman. You know, a lot of pro the problem with uh, a lot of patients is they start to self-diagnose themselves. OK, so here's a, a patient where really uh, his wife was diagnosing him. He had uncontrolled diabetes and, um, you know, she didn't want him to, he needed some implants and some other restorative work. Now that's got to be unusual to see something this bad. It's not unusual, okay. Uh, you know, patients that look like that don't end up smiling a lot. So, I mean, you, most people around them don't see it because they're not showing it, all right. But in our office, you know, we see this type of stuff all the time. So I interrupted, but you were talking about his wife. His wife was saying, you're too far gone. There's nothing you can do with your teeth. He's too I far know. gone. Uh, he was un uncontrolled diabetic. And she thought that, you know, whatever we did for him, uh, because he couldn't, you know, manage his diabetes, he wouldn't be able to manage his teeth. And, and it wasn't worth the, the time or the investment. Okay. And I was surprised because when I called his physician and talked about, you know, our intentions and what we were planning on doing some surgery and stuff like that and, and getting him a new smile. He actually told me that, you know, he thought his, that was going to help, help better control his diabetes, okay? Having any infection in your mouth, all right, uh, and I've been a diabetic for over 30 years, okay? Any You're type an of, expert on the topic. I wouldn't say an Honestly. expert, but having, having any type of infection in your mouth or in your body, all right, makes it very difficult for you to control your blood sugars, okay? So when you get that infection out and you restore somebody to good oral health and smiling and functioning and everything like that, you have better control over your, your blood glucose levels and, and your numbers get tighter and you actually become healthier. And that's exactly what happened with this guy. Nice. And we restored him, gave him oh, a brand wow. new smile. Look at this. And, um, you know, his diabetes is, is much better control. He's a lot happier and uh, he's doing great. I want you to take a look at these pictures side by side, all right? You know, most people, when they see uh, a person, if they see it, okay, if the person, you know, happens to smile or, you know, uh, exposes their teeth a little bit, they, they start to think, wow, this person is, you know, either poor or they're, you know, very lazy, they don't take care of themselves. And that's not the case, you know. Uh, 
some patients you know, end up like this because of other medical conditions. Uh, medicines that they've been taking that give them dry mouth causes decay. It's not their fault, okay, okay, that they're always like this, okay? So, you know, it's very wrong to point the finger at them and judge, okay, that they're like this because of their own doing. Because in, in our office, we don't judge anybody, okay? We've seen patients who've never seen a de uh, dentist all their life, um, and we've seen patients who've been going to the dentist repeatedly and still, you know, uh, their, their teeth having are problems. failing, are having problems. So we don't judge, you know, uh, we know that we can do something for them and that's the most important thing. And so when you can take a patient that came in looking like that and then transform him into the other image that you see uh, with, you know, his full mouth restored, that just does wonders for the he's patient. He's also more handsome. Very. You know, we talked about this on the telephone, you know, and I think, well, of course he's a dentist because you talked about how it can really change somebody's appearance. In this case, yes. In fact, in all of these cases, they just look uh, like a different, you know. Yeah, I mean, here's another gentleman, almost the same one as, uh, as I just showed you right now. Oh, geez. You know, you look at this guy, he's, he's uh, in his 40s, all right, and um, you just think this guy doesn't take care of himself. You know, that's not true. You know, he, he has, you know, finances. He's, he's, so it's a bacterial infection that's killing the teeth. Yeah. In a way. Yeah, I mean, bacterial infection, Patients might be, you know, grinding their teeth severely at night and nobody's ever told them. So their teeth are like breaking down unconsciously. They don't, you know, they don't know what's going on. They don't understand. Nobody takes the time to explain why this is happening to them, you know. Uh, and so regardless, wh whatever the reason is that they ended up in this state, when you can take that same person and make them, you know, Jeez. look like this, um, it just does, uh, you know, wonders for that patient. It transforms their Guy life. like this. I mean, do they ever want to give you a hug? Oh, all the time, like all the time, here. all the time. So when they see their, their face for the first time, especially a guy like this, I mean, he probably hasn't smiled in 20 years. Exactly. Right? And this guy is very active. I mean, plays tennis, plays basketball. I mean, can you imagine if this guy was like in a set of dentures, okay, you know, playing those, those sports at like 40, okay, uh, jumping up and down in his dentures, falling on the ground with, with his colleagues and his friends that, you know, probably have all their teeth. I mean, how embarrassing would it be for that? that gentleman if that happened and, and, and a guy like this he takes an, a, a pill oral sedation hardly remembers the procedure and then when it's all done he says i probably should have done this years ago exactly was this what they like the common theme very common theme them? very common theme and, and we try to you know let he them probably missed out on a lot of good years he definitely not smiling he definitely missed out on a lot of good years and, and you know unfortunately dentistry is one of those fields where you know things never get any cheaper okay like the longer you wait on something okay it just keeps on growing into a bigger problem you know a small filling you know that you leave alone for a while turns into a, a root canal uh, and a post and core and crown or the tooth might get lost and now you need an implant all right and never you know the longer you wait on something the more you know costly and, and pain involved and time and effort involved to get that tooth restored so the faster you address it the quicker you get to it you know it's much better off for your overall oral health, for your smile, for, for your livelihood. I mean, it, so many factors involved, you know, just addressing it earlier than later. So, you know, these last couple of patients uh, I brought photos in. I mean, lovely ladies, younger ladies, okay. Um, this patient is a nurse, you know, missing the majority of her front teeth and, um, you know, dealing with patients every day. She couldn't keep a partial denture in. Uh, she had a lot of bone loss and the denture was loose and she couldn't smile with it. So she left it out half the day and, and didn't smile. She didn't, you know, she never showed that, you know, to the patients that she was working on. And then we, we restored her smile and got her fixed up and, and something fixed and permanent in her mouth. And, you know, now she's smiling, you know, night and day with her patients. And, and what a big nice. difference, you know, like when you get treated in a, you know, medical facility, don't you want the nurse that's taking care of you to be smiling at you, show compassion, you know, show that they care rather than being, all serious. I mean, it, it, it makes a world of difference. So when you give them a new teeth, they, I guess other people react to them differently. Absolutely. Like I said, you know, before, smile, you know, makes all the difference in the world. It, it makes you feel like that person's approachable. You know, when you go to a party, the person who's smiling and laughing and talking a lot, you find, you know, most of the people are gathering in that, around that person because they seem like they have a lot of charisma. They're, they're more outgoing, you know. Um, so you want, you're, you're attracted to that person, okay? Not necessarily, you know, physically. I mean, you're just attracted because yeah. they're, they're just a happy-go-lucky person. You want to be around people <laughs> like that. You want to be around happy people, you All know. Right. Uh, like this last woman, again, you know, beautiful young woman uh, in her 30s, and her teeth were, you know, decaying, and she was having a lot of dental issues, a lot of back and forth in dental offices, a lot of specialists. 
you know, and she was just tired of all the, you know, nickel and diming and back and forth and fixing one tooth at a time. And it was just, a, it's just a big headache, you know. And so we took care of her entire mouth in, in just a couple of visits and gave her, you know, a whole new smile again. Wow. And, nice. um, you know, when you look at her before and after, just complete change, complete change in, in just a, a couple of visits while she was asleep. Now, we are short on time. So this full mouth reconstruction, somebody with, so because of the oral sedation, you could do crowns, bridges, whatever, veneers, a single implant or whatever, all in one visit. Absolutely. So things are being done quick, quicker today than ever before. Definitely. Is that right? No more multiple dental appointments back and forth. You know, we do sedation patients on uh, sedation on patients that are fearful, but we also do it on the type A personality patients that, you know, are very busy. They're always on flights. They're always traveling. They don't have a lot of time to spend in a dental office. And you believe it or not, there's a lot of people out there like that. Okay. The world is very demanding. So they just want to get in and get it done, you know, and, and we can do that for them. All right there. So when you say you could do like a year, two years worth of dentistry in one shot with oral sedation, what do you mean by that? So, you know, these patients, because of previous past experiences, anxiety, um, you know, painful situations at the dental office, sometimes they skip coming to the dentist's office for years at a time, okay. 10, 15, 20 years. I mean, I just, before I came on the, uh, over here, I just had a patient in my office uh, last Friday who was not at going to the dental, dental office in 15 years because when he was younger, he had a traumatic experience. The dentist dropped the drill on his lip and, you know, cut his lip open. Wow. And, you know, when you're a sedation dentist, you hear a lot of these stories, you know, and you don't blame the patient for not coming. I wouldn't go either. If that, if that happened to me, I wouldn't go either. And he finally came in to see me and he needed a lot of work, but he was still, you know, anxious about it. But when you can, you know, comfort that patient, let him know in a visit or two that we're going to get you back to square one and even better, okay? It just, it takes this huge burden off of them, this huge mountain that they saw before them that, that they couldn't climb. And now they feel like it's, it's, you know, surmountable, that they can get over it. So we are completely out of time. Final message though, somebody watching this, their teeth are really bad, right? Like the bleeding gums, the bad breath, all of those things. Maybe they think they're too far gone. They haven't been to the dentist in 10 or 15 years. What do you say to them? I say, and they're still afraid maybe to come in. I say, come on in. Okay. okay, because there's always something that we can do, all right? And we can take the fear and the anxiety out of it with sedation. So no matter what we do for you, okay, implants, root canals, crowns, bridges, whatever it is, it can be virtually pain-free. It can be done in a very short period of time, okay? We can get you back to full oral health and smiling again, eating your favorite foods, you know, whatever, whatever that is, salads, apples, steak, etc., in as little as one or two visits. So, you know, make the effort to come in. There's no judgment in our There's office. There's no consultation fee. There's no consultation fee. You come in. We don't judge in our office, okay? We, we can take care of anything, all right? And we can get you fixed up in as little as one or two visits while you're sleeping and get you back smiling and functioning and, and happy and eating your favorite foods again, dating, whatever, whatever you okay. want to do. We can, get it, we can get it for you. All right. Thanks so much for coming on the program. Thank you. It was a pleasure to be here. You've been watching The Wellness Hour, news that makes you healthier. I'm Randy Alvarez. For now, I wish you good health. Thanks for watching The Wellness Hour, the leader in medical news with your host, Randy Alvarez, the authority on health issues. This was a paid program brought to you by Mark Hanna, DMD.